Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Corpse Crystal Records, and for the third time, we're going to be going over the Frozen Soul demo, this time the Corpse Crystal version in conspiracy with Century Media Records. The CD version comes with a guitar pick. You get alternative artwork. And some bonus songs. Like, you still get the Witch's Coven, you know, Mortician cover and stuff, but you also get a Mandatory Suicide by Slayer cover, Morbid Devourment by Entombed cover, and a Crypt of Ice demo version. So it's always good to get bonus tracks. And I've yet to give the full length a proper listen. But this demo... They were so good on this tour the first East Coast tour and stuff. It's definitely one of those demos like when it comes to modern death metal. It's definitely enjoyable. Like It's kind of the second round of Maggot Stomp bands, I would say. Like and then, I don't know, I think after the Unearnment self-immolation uh, release, I kind of just stopped following the label and stuff. Because everything legitimately started just kind of sounding the same. But I always liked the Encased in Ice demo. And having bonus songs with that just makes it even more enjoyable. And I'm not sure if there's any lineup changes. I haven't seen Frozen Souls since uh, that January 2nd show at Ardmore's. Um, Ardmore's a little suburb outside of Philly. Like, they didn't even play Philly. They played outside of Philly in Ardmore at the Rusty Nail uh, the day before my birthday. And uh, Chad was nice enough to give me a gift and stuff. A shirt and the LP of Encased in Ice, which is a great single-sided LP. I've yet to listen to the CD version, just because I haven't been in the car yet. But I have replayed the cassette and stuff, listened to the bonus material that Century Media put on it. And I just think it's kind of cool, Corpse Crystal reissued the demo on cassette and it wasn't like $18 because Holy Mountain like I think the vinyl came to $48 for um, the full length if I remember it was either $42 or $48 and I was just I, I didn't have that type of money and the cassette if I remember, it was like $18 total with like tax and everything. But now it's back in print and 100% affordable. But these will sell the fuck out. Like, just a heads up. Because same with the cassette version, cassette reissue of Crypt of Ice. This is going to sell out, not only because it's fucking gorgeous cosmetically, but Frozen Soul is pretty popular right now, and yeah, I want to see what's exactly... Here we go. So, four panel Digipack CD, full color UV printed cassettes, smoke tinted cassettes available as well. 
Available now, Corpse Crystal Records under exclusive license from Century under exclusive license from Century Media. And here with Crypt Device, the cassette full color UV printing cassette printed cassettes available now. AC turquoise cassettes available as well. And it's pretty cool that, you know, Corpse Gristle signing a modern Texas death metal band like Frozen Soul. Because, like I said, Frozen Soul's pretty popular right now. And the more people hear about Corpse Gristle, the more releases we get from bands like Immortal Suffering. Releases I never thought would get reissued. It's one of the reasons I love The Crypt so much. And I'm not talking about, like, like I, I love Ken's death metal crypt and stuff musically. I, I honestly don't watch, like, his reviews and stuff. I try to just, you know, not be influenced by any outside influence, really. But um, when it comes to, you know, like, reissuing classic demos digitally that I might have not even known existed and then the crypt drops on vinyl it's like fuck yeah like that's sick like Poland's ghost the death metal ghost from 1994 so good and one of my favorite Pennsylvania death metal bands Deteriorate, Rotting in Hell, Double LP on this yellow vinyl. You get the demo as well as some extra artwork by Mark Riddick. Sick shit. I think you get two demos. Yeah, Agonized Display demo from 93 and the self-titled demo. As well as the Rotting in Hell full length. And this is so good sounding on vinyl. It sounds great. Killer Pennsylvania death metal. They became a black metal band and it's pretty goof. So I I just I recommend this because it has the demos on it. Like this is all their best material. Dark Descent Records, The Crypt, and The Ancient Way Mastering heavy hails because like the their Gotham demo released the time ghoul demos on vinyl which i really wish the cassettes had followed but it is what it is it was just one of those things it just like i would have loved if corpse gristle or like caustic cassettes handled the time ghoul reissues because most of the time, I'm listening to the Panoramic Twilight demo. It's just my favorite demo. Like, ever. When it, But you have to go with the Tumultuous Travelings cover art, or you have a bunch of lyrics over the cover for Panoramic Twilight. You don't even have the uh, lineup photo for Panoramic Twilight. Kind of strange to be honest but it is what it is but corpse crystal doesn't play when it comes to reissues like this immortal suffering reissue is so ridiculous it sounds amazing it looks amazing and when it comes to the frozen soul reissue of encased in ice like i know this got a cd released by maggot stomp if i were i'm like 99 percent sure if i'm wrong i'm sorry i just could have swore i saw somebody with a cassette version with the original artwork and stuff but like these types of digi packs you you do have to be kind of gentle with them if you plan on like having this in your car I no longer endorse CD binders, so 
some of you might not even know what that is, but fuck those things. Because if somebody breaks into your car, and let's say you're using a CD binder, here's what you're going to be left with after somebody steals all your CDs. A bunch of empty cases that just are going to piss you off. Trust me, I had 500 empty CD cases behind me at one point, and it just was like, I, I don't think, I legit didn't know what to do. So I made a massive collage. It's behind this other collage over here. One day, you know, I might actually do a new room tour and take every poster down in that area so you could see my ticket stub wall from high school. There's some gnarly shows on there. I think it goes up to 2000, because up here, like we have, uh, there's a enslaved ticket stub, dying fetus, a bath, mayhem, Watain, nails, high on the fire, enslaved, napalm death and voivod, immolation. I think I said immolation already. Yeah, there's a lot up here, actually. Migration Fest. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. But with these digipacks, like, just a heads up, you do kind of have to be a little gentle. Keep the sleeve, trust me. Unless, like I said, you prefer CD binders. I get it. It is convenient and stuff. You don't have to have a bunch of CDs in your car. And this also comes with a really nice guitar pick. But the cassette sounds absolutely amazing, in my opinion. And take a look at it. Like, it actually really got me hyped to check out the, uh, you know, debut full length properly. Because I listened to it on a track phone, and, like, it, that doesn't count. Like, I'm sorry, it doesn't. Like, it's just, like, my track phone's not the best of sound quality, so it was, like, I'm trying my best to, like, enjoy it, but, like, I'm getting, like, all this fuzz and stuff, and I'm like, oh, man, like, I, I, I can't listen to it like this. So, the fact Corpse Crystal sent this stuff over, because... I've been getting hit up about these. Well, not this, because I've already gone over it twice. But, um... The, uh... Cryptovice full length. I always get encased in ice and Cryptovice confused. Especially now with the updated artwork. It's definitely kind of confusing. So, just keep in mind... Zombie Dude is the demo stuff. Pile of Skulls is the full length. But if you just go on Bandcamp, it's pretty, it's like, oh, like, you know, it's obvious what's what. But the extra tracks make this, if you already own it, it's worth owning again. I have not listened to the full length yet. As I said, I'm going to give it a proper listen. I'm going to give the CD a proper listen also. I just want to hear the difference. Because I love death metal through a rumbly speaker, to quote Dutch. I just think it sounds, just it has that extra bit of heaviness and fuzz. And I just like that. There's something about it. And I know some of you, you know, CD is fucking... You know, like, why would you want to listen to something that, you know, sounds crackly or, like, you know? <laughs> it just, it, it, especially in the summertime, I love listening to death metal in the summer, especially on cassette. 
I don't know why. It's just something I've always enjoyed doing. It's like a favorite pastime of mine. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, at all. Like, but if you're not into cassettes, I completely understand. Like, if you're like, why are you so fucking over the hill stoked about having, you know, an Immortal Suffering CD? First off, what? Like, you should be very ecstatic, especially if you have the cassette version as well, which is amazing. But Corpse Crystal just really, really outdid themselves with this last package they sent. Like, this is so good. Like, I'm sorry, Mortician. That is the best sounding mortician worship i have heard and this is a bold fucking statement legitimately that is probably better than anything mortician has recorded not counting the final bloodbath session that doesn't count or the live recording when i'm talking full length like since chainsaw dismemberment now, I'll stand by that. Like, this destroys Domain of Death. It destroys uh, reanimated dead flesh. And, uh, fuck, I'm like looking at it. But the other one relapse. The last, I think it was the last or second to last one relapse. The Darkest Day of Horror. There it is. Yeah, this, it completely destroys it. Like, like, 100%. Like, with a fucking bullet. Especially, do, like, Domain of Death, which I feel is so mediocre for Mortician. And same with Reanimated Dead Flesh. I'm sure, sure there's some fans that like that album, but I, I'll stick to, you know, Hacked Up for Barbecue. And, like, honestly, the demo stuff, I wish I had on cassette, but I'm happy with every... I mean, I have technically one of the demos on cassette, but I'm talking, you know, the 10-inch that got reissued and everything. I love that release so fucking much. But the Witch's Cover... The Witch's Coven cover that Mortician does, does Night Hag also covered on their demo. And... Let's dissect, sorry. And they did a really good job also, but um this is also Yeah, it was on uh Insemination Rights of the Succumbus, which is Coven Mortician cover. Night Hag. I think Night Hag's playing Philly tonight or tomorrow or something. I don't really know. But yeah. Even if you have this already, I honestly say it's worth the reissue. Especially if you like early Frozen Soul. Like, because I haven't heard the, the new stuff really properly yet. So, yeah. I always liked the demo material. So, yeah. It's definitely cool to have it, you know, on Corpse Crystal Records. Because I can 100% get behind Corpse Crystal. They have amazing customer service. They have an amazing roster. And yeah. They really, really care about the death metal scene. The community. And I appreciate that a lot. And it means a lot to me. So support Corpse Crystal. Support Extreme Metal and support Texas Death Metal. This is a banger right here and is a good gateway also into death metal if you're new to it. Like, for real, this is a really good way to get your feet wet. Like, let's say you only heard, like, Cannibal Corpse. Fucking A, man. Like, almost guaranteed you'll be like, yo, this is... It's pretty sick, like, because it's not, like, over-the-top brutal. 
It's not over the top gross. It's like just death metal. And that's all you really need. And to me, that's perfect. Like, when it comes to if you're new, like, I would not, if somebody was like, hey, I just, you know, got into death metal like a week ago. Uh, what do you recommend? I would not be like, hey, go check out uh, Immortal Suffering, Images of Horror. Like, go check out Conqueror. War oh, that's, that, uh, sorry, I, I just meant extreme metal in general. Like, there's certain bands where you kind of have to work your way up. Otherwise, you're probably going to be like, I don't know like, what what is going on. <laughs> you know, like especially if you don't understand production and stuff like that. There's certain bands where you just might be like, this is noise. Like, like, what am I listening to? And that's a bummer, but, like, there's some bands out there that if you don't know in advance, like, hey, this is, like, lo-fi, super grim, icy black metal, you might get it and be like, I don't know, like, what is this? Like, I don't know what's going on. But... If that happens to you, like, that's what I mean. Sometimes you got to take a step back and, like, start with the basics. Like, go check out the first Emperor record. I prefer the shit before in the Nightside Eclipse, but that's just me. But if I was to, like, if somebody came up to me and said, Hey, I just got into black metal. And they said I was listening to, just for example, off the top of my head, they heard Bathory The Return. Which, in my opinion, that's black metal. I don't care what anybody fucking says. And so, obviously, like, that's a gnarly release, and they can kind of go anywhere from there. But I would legit be like, here you go. You can borrow... Dissection, Storm of the Light's Bane. And if I had that new double LP version of the Sombralin, I would give them that too. I don't know if they ever did a vinyl version of Live Legacy, but that's one of the best live black metal recordings ever. I never hear anybody talk about it either. That shit is like legit so fucking good. But when it comes to Frozen Soul... They're really good live. I don't understand the push-ups in the pit thing. I saw some footage. I was kind of like, people complain about hardcore dancing, but you don't care about people working out in the pit. Like, I don't know. It just kind of was very contradictive, in my opinion, but I don't care. I'm an old man. Like, I'm not crowd surfing anymore. But back in the day, like, I would probably use your back as a springboard and jump on whoever standing on the side of the pit. Because I was an asshole when it came to that type of stuff. But Frozen Soul, they, they are not assholes. Especially Chad. Chad's a really good guy. And I hope he's doing well. I haven't talked to him in a couple of years, honestly. I haven't talked, yeah. I haven't talked to him since like the full length came out. Because I congratulated them when they got signed to Century Media and stuff. But, yeah, if you never heard Frozen Soul, I suggest starting with Encased in Ice because I haven't heard the full length. So, yeah, I'm going to say check this out first. Or get them both. Because if you're going to make an order, sometimes it's just better to get two items. Because... Well, Corpse Crystal said they're not changing shipping prices, but shipping prices went up last week. I know it sucks, but that's just the way it is right now. So, Corpse Crystal said we will keep our shipping the same. So, support Corpse Crystal Records. Support Frozen Soul. Check out their demo, Encased in Ice, and get Encased in Ice forever. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thanks again to Corpse Crystal Records for making today's video possible. Hails.